Hi, I'm Sami, the designer of Tale of Merchants and Tale of Merchants 2. I'm Eero, Sami's friend and playtester. Today we are going to record a gameplay video of us two playing a game featuring the following animal for decks. Diligent Patriot slots, which have delayed actions that you need to plan ahead in order to get the most out of them. Friendly Fennec Foxes, which help your opponent too, so you need to be cunning and carefully think the right time to play them, so you don't help your opponent too much. And finally we're going to have Connected Emperor Penguins, which don't actually come with Dale of Merchants 2, but are rather an expansion. They feature a new bank mechanic called Spend, where you use cards just like you would when you purchase new ones in order to activate them. Let the games begin! Whoa! At the beginning is quite expensive. I can only buy the first one. So I'll do that. Let's go with charity with five cards. I want to try the penguins. I could play the charity, but the, the probability that I won't have any money to buy new stuff after that is quite high, so I think I'm going to skip that for now. Let's go with uh, ice trade with uh, a six. I really want to use this new penguin card, but everything is so expensive. I really can't. I have to buy with it. That's a three and four and five. I'll start with playing my slot one. So I can draw more cards on my next turn. And then I will play my ice trade and spend all my three cards to do so. So I can recycle my deck a bit faster. I get a new card from the market deck. Okay, let's try to take Sami's good cards. Hope not. So Aero will take one random card from both of us hand, hands and then he can choose which one he gives back to each player. I'll buy with four. And now it's the start of my next turn and the slot will activate and I will draw a new card from my deck. Let's try the same thing other way around. I don't have much. Neither do I. <laughs> well, you can have your chunk back. <clears throat> you go with the house cleaning with two plus three, this makes four or five. I'll just play this. To get me a card next turn from the market. The ironing work is blocking the market so hard that I think I need to buy it so stuff gets a bit cheaper. Okay, now my shopping journey activates and I'll get any card from the market. Yeah, get this one just so you don't get it. I'll start my stall. I'll do the same thing but with 
a different animal for one. Okay, so now I wanna help Sami and play tasters. I choose first. I'll take this one. We both get a free card from the market. I'll take the smallest one. And I think I want the stove. Then I'll just put it in my stall. Then let's go to the market. I'll start by playing the iron work, which means that I get the plus one to my cards on my next turn. And then I continue with the charity. By the look on Eros face, he might have some good cards in his hand. One good. Well, it's definitely not the one that I <laughs> took from him. So let's continue by buying the siesta. Hey, payback time! <laughs> no, my hand is looking quite good. So is mine. So I guess I can keep his chunk. Okay, and I'll just buy... Buy this stove. And now the iron in work cards will activate and my cards are plus one this turn. I start by playing siesta, so I get to search my discard pile and take a single card from there to my hand on my next turn. And as all my cards are one value higher, I can play my penguin as a two to my stall. I'll play Goodwill Present, spend one, draw two cards, and I can throw away one of them. I'll do just that. Hmm. Then I'll play this little steady achiever and buy me. Uh, Rumors. And now the siesta activates, and I can search my discard pile. I think I will take the house cleaning from there. And start by playing it. I can now take all the chunk from my discard pile and take them in my hand and at the start of my next turn I can throw away a card from my hand. I think I will go with ice trade again and spend five chunks to do <laughs> so. And I get a card from Not bad. the market. <clears throat> my steady achiever activates, I get one card. I think I wanna look Sami's hand, see what he's got. Nothing much. Got a cheer out of ice trade. Last turn. All these rumors, both players put the top two cards of the discard pile on top of their decks one by one. So I get my ice trade and junk. Then I'll buy. Wanna buy? Siesta. Now the house cleaning will activate and I can throw away a card from my hand. Let's go with four and buy us an answer stove. I think I want to see Sami's hand again. And each time a player uses the Fennec Fox, he can choose to put it on top of his deck after yeah. using it. So. He can't bully me. I don't want to put this on top of my deck. I'll continue my stall. I 
I think I will warm up my stove a bit with the passive ability. I will spend 5 in order to change the value to half of the spend amount rounded up, so it becomes a 3, so I can play it to my stall. To catch up with Eros. Okay, this is a race now. So it seems. I think I will trust the odds on this one in order to catch up. And definitely not worth it. <laughs> I will use all my hand and to purchase a lunch break. Okay, now it's a good time to use the penguin one. Search your discard pile car and place it on the bottom of your deck. So I can definitely have it next turn. I want my goodwill present. Time to help Sami again. Tasters. I get the first pick. I think I will also want some goodwill presents my way. I'll just use this newly acquired card to build up my stack. I'll start with a goodwill present and spend a chunk and in order to draw two cards I could then throw away one of them but I really don't want to. You draw two good ones. Yes. You're lucky. Then I will continue by doing some cleaning. So I get a bunch of chunk from my discard pile. Five actually. Then I might as well play CS to search my discard pile at the of my next turn. And then play a stove as a four in you know, hopes of catching up. Good with present. Spend one, draw two. <laughs> I don't either want to throw away one. Well, then it's not that bad of a trade-off as you're still getting two good cards to your hand. Yeah, good and good. Just once, but... Five, I'll buy this house cleaning to get rid of my chunk. Then I will finish my cleaning by throwing a card from my hand and then doing the siesta to get the card from my discard pile. I think I'll go with the charity. Then I will take a lunch break and draw a card and at the start of my next turn I will do the same thing again and use the ironing work to build up my fifth stack. And now we're tied. Not for long. Tasters once again really helps with my stall building. I get a and some is too. And I think. You're going all in with the foxes and take a ruffle. I'll just make six. It's so close already. Then my lunch break activates and I get to draw a card from my deck. And it's really going to be a good one. Let's start by doing some charity work. And as my hand is still quite large from the house cleaning, I might have a bunch of junk laying around. This time it actually was a good thing to do. 
as it made it possible to fill up my st sixth stack and we're, we're once more tied. Five, six. <clears throat> I guess it's now good time to have the ruffle. And with this one, we will pick a card from each other at the same time. I'll use three chunk to buy a um, house cleaning. Okay, I'll continue to make seven. One off. He's pressuring me with hard. Let's see my discard pile. Yes, the card I want is definitely on. still in my deck. I want to get rid of as many useless cards at this point, so I'll do a ice trade and spend everything that I don't need at the moment to get the top card from the market. And hope that Arrow doesn't win just yet. Not just yet. I need to buy. I'll buy a raffle with five. And as I remember that he has both Fennec Fox 5s, I believe I need to do something oh, come on. this turn. And don't take I, my cards. I don't have stuff in my hand to do so oh. right now, so I will try to fish them out with goodwill present by spending a oh, weight. Actually, first I will play house cleaning to draw all the chunk from my deck, so I will actually increase the chances of drawing some of time some of my yeah. nasty cards and now i will come on penguins don't betray me play the goodwill present <coughs> and in payment i will use a chunk i guess and now i get to draw two cards and hope find some foxes because then i'm come on penguins I did draw lunch break, which makes me oh, come able on. to draw an another card. Oh come on! <laughs> and it's a charity. <laughs> oh come on! Just let me win. I will do my best to not. To... Five or a three. I guess I found some. Valuable goods from there. I will then play a siesta to my schedule and a three and a four as a seven. I had the winning my back already. <laughs> now it's time. That was so incredibly lucky. I really had to fish out the charity yeah. and then hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, and then then take one of those two cards from my five cards, and of course. I need to get the other five from my deck. I get and to take two cards. It's not in your discard pile. Yeah. No. Nope. Never lucky. Do you throw away one of those drawn cards? Yeah. Then I want to see your hand if you you're gonna win. I do have a five and a three as an eight. Okay. Where do you put the fox? Let's raffle. This is going to be... <laughs> so Sammy doesn't win, this is my only chance. So lucky. <laughs> and I even get to draw, draw additional cards as much. I have to do the same. There's two cards. I need to get one of them. Yep. This is it. It really wasn't... I just buy... And I and need to all have... over. It was my game! Yes, it really was. Oh. It was my game. I had it in the back. The penguins and foxes together, they destroyed my game. It was... The whole game was really, really tight and I was pretty much the whole game one, one stack behind the air. And at the last, last few turns I knew that he had the 
could, could win on his own turn, but I just managed to pull out the five from his hand in order to stop him from winning. Yeah, it paid off that he followed the game and knew I had the five, so he made the right call to try to take them and it paid off. It was really close and entertaining game. I tried to gain back, I tried to steal. I saw he had the win, I tried to steal three or five, but never lucky.